Kính thưa quý vị, chắc hẳn rất nhiều người trong số chúng ta đã từng gặp phải những khó khăn nhất định trước tình trạng lấn chiếm vỉa hè trên địa bàn các đô thị hiện nay. Nhân cao điểm về xử lý vi phạm lấn chiếm vỉa hè trên địa bàn thành phố Hồ Chí Minh, thì ngày hôm nay báo Thanh niên sẽ có cuộc phỏng vấn đối với những người nước ngoài đang sinh sống, học tập, làm việc và du lịch tại thành phố Hồ Chí Minh để xem họ nghĩ như thế nào về những vỉa hè bị lấn chiếm. Originally from Taiwan, but I live in Canada. How long have you been in the town, in Ho Chi Minh City? In Ho Chi Minh, three days. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you have to walk in the street? Yes. Instead of walking in the, on the sidewalk. Oh, uh, okay. Because there's there's always a lot of um, let's say. No, the sc scooters or the merchandise they put on the sidewalks. It's pretty hard for me to walk there and not to bump into something that I don't mean to. Uh, how do you feel when you have to walk in the street? Um, pretty unsafe, actually. And um, it's not really, uh, how should I say, um, it's not really organized because I have to be careful about the cars or the scooters or even I don't know any garbage on the floor okay. yeah. um, have you ever guessed trouble while walking in the street yeah we well one of my friend almost got hit uh, by a scooter but then yeah I, I didn't yeah does uh, this, this problem happen in your country, uh, Taiwan or Canada? Uh, Taiwan maybe, but not every street, probably like uh, older cities. And uh, Canada, no, because we don't have scooters. Yeah. yeah. Um, in Taiwan? Yes. Uh, with the penalty or with the charge that the government used to uh, find the people who use sidewalk for wrong purpose. Oh, yeah, there there is fine, but I don't know how much. Probably around 30 US dollars. Yeah, if you put, you know, your merchandise or your scooters on the sidewalk. Um, I should say, because we do have bigger sidewalks and they do have um, some kind of, um, they, they, de <laughs> they designate uh, some areas for scooters. You can park there yeah. and still, you know, the pedestrians still can get by. Yeah, yeah so it's not, yeah, it's not like this, yes. Week uh, seven days. Have you ever had to walk in the street instead of walking on the sidewalk? Uh, well, I tried to walk through the sidewalk. Maybe another part where the walk side, the sidewalk are more um, narrow. Yeah, you have to to look for a space to to walk. But um, the thing I I experience is you are walking on the sidewalk and someone come to you in the motorbike and you have to move. But now I'm used to. <laughs> Yeah, so to get used to yeah, to street, walk in yeah. the street. Yeah, yeah, I know how to do it. Uh, I learned. How long have you been in Ho Chi Minh City? Uh, one day. One She's day. more. One I mean, way. something like four days or something like that. Yes. How do you feel when you uh, have to walk in the street? Um, it's, it's, a it's a little bit annoying and kind yeah. of dangerous, but uh, dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yes. But it's okay. I don't know. We'll. Did this problem happen in your country? Uh, yes, no, no, sometimes, but not that much. You don't find things like that in the sidewalk. All the people are sitting on their little chairs on the, um, I don't know how it's called, the, the um, street for the people who can walk and pavement. What do you think about the sidewalk the abuse problem in Ho Chi Minh City? Uh, so that we uh, um, need to walk on the street. Yeah. It's a little bit uh, um, dangerous. dangerous because of the motorbikes. Yeah. But I think mm -hmm. it doesn't matter because all the motorbikes are driving on the sidewalk. So it doesn't matter if we walk on the street or on the sidewalk. <laughs> uh, does this problem happen in your country? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, in Germany we have so many rules for traffic, 
so many rules. It never happened that a motorbike drives on the sidewalk or things like that. Kính thưa quý vị, vừa rồi là những ý kiến của những người bạn nước ngoài đang sinh sống, học tập, làm việc và du lịch tại thành phố Hồ Chí Minh. Chính quyền thành phố Hồ Chí Minh đang có những biện pháp cứng rắn và mạnh tay nhằm đòi lại những vỉa hè thông thoáng cho người đi bộ. Báo Thanh niên sẽ liên tục cập nhật những thông tin mới nhất về hoạt động này của chính quyền thành phố tại địa chỉ thanh niên.vn. Xin hãy chia sẻ những ý kiến của bạn vào phần bình luận phía dưới video này của chúng tôi. Mai Phương xin phép kính chào và hẹn gặp lại.